Hey guys, Mr. Short Hitter here. This video is going to be a little bit different. The dot game during the live recommended that I do a self assessment that he saw in Golf Digest based on yourself, based on myself, how I view my golf game. So I think that's a good thing to do. How was your golf season? Most people would probably look at their handicap, say, hey, I'm a five handicap, I'm a six handicap whatever that might be. This is based on a broader golf experience of the season. So the first category is power and speed. It's while this is primarily an assessment of your driving proficiency, it extends elsewhere. Were your good drives leaving you shorter distances in the greens? Could you carry ambitious hazards more or less than before? While it's possible to have ample club head speed and not be a good golfer, trust me, a power deficiency tends to seep into your performance and your enjoyment over the balance of the season. So the writer here said it was the worst part of his game. Some speed training has helped, but overall it was a tough year and it was a two. So looking at my assessment, what I gave myself here, power and speed, I gave myself a three. I didn't hit it far as I would hoped from the amount of training, speed training I did consistently, workouts that I did very consistently thought i would get a little bit more power than i did a little bit more speed than i did uh, but i did hit it a little further than i hit it in 2022. full swing reliability you can measure a swing's efficiency any number of ways but telling gauge is this how comfortable comfortable are you with a seven iron in your hand to hit a moderate sized target not a talking about attacking pins but compared to the prior year do you feel better about that shot worse or about the same he gave himself a four. I gave myself a two for full swing reliability. I think my accuracy with my full swing has gone down a little bit in 2023 versus 2022. A big part of it, and it's probably going to be a reoccurring theme, just filming more. Didn't really get a chance to hit as many balls. Therefore, I lost a little bit of accuracy with the full swing. So the third category was short game versatility. A good short game is about much more than your ability to hit a standard chip. Your adaptability in certain situations, tight lies, heavy rough, bunker shot over high lip, the ability to hit different types of short game shots. I rated myself a four. Some of the videos that I've done for you guys, it was kind of a reminder really of all the different shots that I'm able to hit around the greens. Overall, just from working on the shots, showing you some tips, my short game got a little bit better, so I rated that a four. Putts you should make, I gave myself a three. So we're talking about, you know, three footers, you're, you hit a good lag putt. I would say I'm more than likely to make the putt, about the same as I've been in previous years. Now, putts you shouldn't make, more about lag putting, more about the 10 footers, the 15 footers, the 20 footers. I say as the year went on, I really progressed in that area. I would rate myself a four there. I think with left hand low, that kind of actually improved my, my lag putting quite a bit because before I would hit those putts to where I would hit it off the heel and really pull it way left. I would flinch my right hand and I didn't do that once I got to a left hand low. So I rated that a four. Okay, so then you've got an achievement section here, the regular season. He says he plays a pretty standard game with the same group of guys and he kind of rates himself against this guy, Joe, as a benchmark. So Bradley, the question is how you fared and what you considered regular rounds. Was your best golf better and your worst golf less awful? Did you flirt with any benchmark rounds or did you regress? Did you beat your version of Joe more than you lost to him? I kind of benchmark myself against Tom I play with a lot. John is another guy I play with. Paul, I gave myself a four. Probably was more competitive with Tom than I thought I should be. Uh, I think I'm, I actually looked over all the, the rounds that we played and the skills challenges that we had. The caveat here is that the wins were more early in the season and the losses were later in the season. So the majors, he says in a major, in a low net world, the majors are those rounds where you at least make sure you have enough tees and balls without scuff marks, club championships, buddies trips, prearranged formats. So they're rounds that matter the most. So for my majors, I'm just going to say golf tournaments. Played in a lot less tournaments this year than I did in the past. Uh, I think I wrote down, I played in about 11 events this year. I think nine of those were actual 
just regular stroke play tournaments, not team events. I did win three of those events, but I really only played good in, in one or two of them. So I'm going to rate myself a one in the majors, which for me is golf tournaments. So meaningful golf. First part of this is simple. Did you play enough golf or did life get in the way? It's also about the quality of golf you played because I'd argue your meaningful golf should depend heavily on your ability to extract value from a wide assortment of occasions, from bucket list trips to six round loops at dusk. The best co golf years create the bold faced memories, but also a sufficient number of delightful little moments in between. So meaningful golf, I'm gonna give myself a four there. In prior years, my golf was more focused on playing tournaments. This year, my golf was more focused on providing content for you guys, but also intermixed in there was a lot of matches that I had with Tom, matches that I had with Paul, which in prior years, I didn't really do that that much. I would go out, I'd be by myself, I'd hit balls, I'd chip, I'd putt. It's just all based on trying to practice, trying to get better to score and play well in that next tournament. So meaningful golf, I'm going to give myself a four. The next category, work-life balance. Counterbalance to playing enough meaningful golf is something else could be suffering. Did golf lead to unrest at home? Did you blow off too much work? So he says it's the toughest one to gauge, but I'm going to give myself a work-life balance of one. <laughs> it was pretty much all work, all work as in golf work, right? Filming uh, virtually every time I played golf, I had a camera with me. There was a few tournaments that I didn't get to film, but all the golf was really, I consider it kind of, it was joyful, but it also wasn't much balance into my life. There wasn't much else besides golf, filming, and work. So my health suffered a little bit, and I'll do an update on that video, but I've got to give myself a one for work-life balance. So the last category was golf outlook. The nature of your golf season is going to linger even after you stop playing, but simply, what was your golf mood this year? While frustration is inevitable, did you still walk away excited about your golf future? Are you looking forward to building a successful foundation this off season, or at least motivated to address what held you back? Do you mostly welcome a break? At any point recently, have you looked into buying a boat? Okay, so, uh, golf outlook for 2024. I am very excited about it. I think the left hand low putting is going to improve my putting. I think some of the, the short game videos that I did even recently about rotating the face uh, through impact on your chip shots, I did that in some subsequent rounds you guys will see in the next month or two. I really feel like my golf game is on the upswing. I've got some ideas that can get me back into tournament form to playing more tournaments next year and that includes more tournament content. All things work out as planned. I think 2024 will be a great golf year. I do plan on trying to play in the Illinois Senior Open. I think I've really figured out how to make this content work and also practice and also play tournaments and also do all the other things I need to do. I think this 2023 was a work in progress trying to figure out how to make all these things happen when i did go play a golf tournament my mind wasn't really focused on that golf tournament it was more focused on the video that was going to be released that day or the video that i had to film for the next day so i think i'm on the right track my golf outlook is really good i gave myself a four there the total score you got 41 to 50 was a career year don't change a thing 31 to 40, a promising year, plenty to build on. And 21 to 30, which I was on the high end of, is worth reviewing what you do differently next year. I'm going to follow up this little assessment with another video in the future to let you guys know what I plan on changing, what I plan on fixing, working on, and improving. So in 2024, could be a great year. I welcome you guys to look at Golf Digest golf cart assessment if you like the video like comment subscribe until next time mr shore hitter out five holes to go just play 13 need to palm away yeah gotta hit more greens my game's obscene now hooks